Okay, Mr. Scott. Okay, so here's your current website. Boom, boom, uh, looking good. And first off, to log into your site, scroll down to the bottom here and go ahead and click log in. Now, Marissa and the team should have emailed you your username and password. Here's mine entered in, boom, and I'm gonna go ahead and log in. All of you, all of us log in the same, so go ahead and uh, log in. And then you're gonna come to this dashboard and uh, it's loading, there's a lot going on here. Um, but the one thing to uh, focus on is you can always add and remove products here. Products, all products, boom. And you've got these items here that we've search engine optimized and did keywords for you, looking really good. Um, so then you would simply add a new product. You'd name that product, um, whatever, maybe it's a new type of holster, or maybe you're actually selling a gun or something along those lines. Boom, then your description. And go in here and this is kind of a long description just so you know let me show you how this kind of works out here so if you go to uh, let's just say a Glock 19 holster the long description is this description down here so if you're actually over here editing this is what's known as the, the long description um, and then there's some SEO tools for you. Then here's your product date. It's a simple product. You'd enter the price. If you have a sale date, you would enter the sale date. Um, it is taxable and standard tax class. Um, if you want it to manage stock for you, you can. Um, that's what you would do right here on the stock screen. Um, right now, there's no shipping. You, I think you said that the shipping was included. We talked about that, so I think there's no shipping. You can always link products in case you want to cross sell or upsell products. So if you're selling, you know, a holster for a Glock 19 and then you want to try to sell your Glock 19, you can cross sell or try to upsell that there. Um, attributes. Uh, so this is where if you want to use the color swatches, you can click and add the attributes. Uh, the attributes and the global add-ons, they're a little um, unique for the holsters themselves. So if you get hung up, I'm sure something will come up, no doubt. Give me a shout, we'll get it sorted. Um, advanced, if you wanna leave uh, notes to the purchaser, whatever, you can do that there. You can turn on and off reviews there. And then uh, check this box. Okay, so right now Marissa has a tool for the claw. Uh, and it's what's considered a global add-on. If you are adding another holster and you want the option for the claw, leave this unchecked. If you are selling the gun, go ahead and check this. It will exclude that item from the claw. And so I'll, I'll explain more about that in a bit. So then you have a short description and the short description, come on thing. Um, the short description is this section right here. So go ahead and, um, type in a short description, that one's gotta be a little bit jazzier. And then going up on the right, you can ignore this box right here. You wanna make sure you're saving your draft along the way. Come on, thing. That's just saving. Okay, then product categories. So I do recommend you start setting up categories. If it's a holster, make it a holster. If it's a gun, then make it a gun, yay. Uh, if now if it's a type of gun and you want to say it's like a hunting rifle or something like that, then you select the parent category of gun and add new category and it will make it um, a subcategory there. Don't leave any uncategorized products. Go ahead and make sure you categorize it. Um, now it might be it might have more than one category. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> maybe you have another category called like hunting equipment or something. So it can also be part of that, that's great. Now the product tags, so we've already done a few product tags for you, but this is where you would put, you know, Glock 19, comma, Glock 19 holster, comma, holster, 
or whatever. If it's a gun or if it's, if it's tricked out, you'd put all the specifics there and click add and it would start to add those. Or you could choose from the most used tags. So it's Beardsman Tactical, maybe this one, you know, has an easy draw, whatever. This kind of helps Google also find you a little bit as well. And then a product image versus the gallery image. So the product image is the first big one. And then these are the additional gallery images. So you want to set a product image and you can upload it here, boom. Or you can uh, just load it from the media library. These are the swatch icons Mercy used for your swatch. So you can ignore that. But um, you probably want to upload a bunch of new ones and then set the product image. And then the same for the product gallery. If you have other angles of that product, great. If you want to show someone actually having it in the field or modeling the product or whatever it is, you could upload that there as well. So that is how you then save and publish a product. And then I'll tilt pull this down in a second, but to look at it, all you would do is go to your shop. And this is that one I've added called gun something. Here's all of your other items. If you go in here and look, uh, we didn't set a, a, a short description. So we should have set the short description. We needed to set a product image and a gallery image. We needed to set the long description. And you'll notice that the uh, concealment claw is not in here because we checked that one box. If you do want the concealment claw, you uncheck the box. So this is a video, it's recorded for you. You can always rewind it and watch more uh, later. Once you go through this a few times, I'm sure you're gonna have questions. Thanks for asking, brother. We'll talk soon, bye.